So let's talk a little bit about copyright, Creative Commons licensing as it pertains to video editing and including video clips and audio clips. Just to give you a bit of background, here's a, one of the first or earliest known video clips ever created of a person running with their horse. And you can see it's a loop of pictures going through. So actually they take, took a bunch of individual photos and stitched them together to make a video. Here's another one. This is uh, an example of slow motion video and I'm going to fast forward this to about the minute mark so that you can see how someone has slowed down their hummingbird video so you can better see what's going on with the wings of a, honey a hummingbird as they fly around which is pretty cool. Also how their tail moves back and forth to help balance them. Next is a time-lapse video. And this is a butterfly. I'll just fast forward to where the butterfly is starting to make their cocoon. There we are, cocoon. I'll go a little further forward. Almost completed the cocoon and here it is pretty much done. Then I'll go forward to when the butterfly starts to come out of their cocoon. But again, this is speeding up the video as opposed to slowing it down just for the sake of uh, educational purposes. One thing to keep in mind, uh, I'm going to talk about including photographs initially. Um, any photograph that's taken before 1949 is in the public domain, so you can use it. You'd still need to cite it, of course, but it is in the public domain. If it's anything published after that, it's assumed to be a copyright image, and you'd need the permission of the photographer to use it unless it's a Creative Copyrights Commons image, and it'll be typically labeled as such. In the case of Unsplash and the other websites like that, uh, they are a Creative Commons Zero license, which means that uh, while you should give credit, and I want you to in this class, technically speaking, you don't need to give credit for those uh, pictures. And for video clips, uh, I believe it's 50, at least in Canada, the copyright is for 50 years after the first recording. The length of time that uh, since the recording for videos depends on the country. So I think in the United States, it's 80 years or something like that. It's quite high. So keep that in mind. And if I were you, I'd look for Creative Com uh, Commons video clips to use or use your own video clips, of course. That works just fine as well. So today we're going to extend on the video editing we did last week and for the challenges this week I'd like you to create a slow motion video using audio and video files from archive.org and the handout that I'll put in the notes below will, uh, will lead you through that process of finding some audio and video. Also try to bring in an image or video uh, file from your phone. I'm not going to give you instructions on how to do this, but if you're not sure, maybe ask a neighbor. If they don't know, don't spend too much time trying to figure it out on your own. Just ask me and I'll, I'll uh, give you one method that works well for me. And then export your edited video uh, in an MP4 format it and upload it either to YouTube or directly to your WordPress website. And then the second hands-on activity is to create a green screen video and upload it to your website. And I'll provide the, the video clips that you'd need to do that. Anyways, have fun, and I look forward to seeing what you create.